Hi, I'm Paula Ward and this is Easy Knitting Design. This video is part one of the top down sleeve. We'll begin with the sleeve cap. When we knit the body of our sweater, we knit the body in the round. And when I shape the armhole, starting at the side, I bound off a certain number of stitches, then decreased some stitches and then worked straight up. On the other half or back half, I did the same thing, bound off stitches, worked some decreases and then knit straight up and we joined the front to the back at the shoulder seam. The way the top down sleeve is worked is I like to start at this bound off stitch at the edge here and I will pick up stitches all the way around the armhole and when I get back to this first stitch I'll start knitting and I'm going to get knit up to the shoulder seam and then I'm going to look at the distance between the shoulder seam and this first stitch and divide it roughly into thirds and I'm going to continue knitting around to this first marker, this first third marker. Then I'll work a wrap and turn and when I turn the work I'll be switching to back and forth knitting or flat knitting and I'll be working a purl row. So I'll purl back and I'm going to divide this side of the sleeve again into roughly thirds. I'm going to purl back, work a wrap and turn here, knit back. Now I'm going to pick up the wrap from this wrap and turn and on the next stitch I'll work another wrap and turn. Purl back, pick up this wrap on the next stitch, work another wrap and turn. Continue doing that, working back and forth each time, going one stitch farther. We'll work all the way around the sleeve, picking up every stitch, and when I reach this starting point, I will continue knitting around in a circular fashion. When you finish your sleeve cap, you will have a perfectly fitting top to your sleeve. You will be knitting in the round and then at this point you can continue your sleeve in the round down to the cuff. So if we were to write this out for the sleeve cap, I would say pick up a certain number of stitches around the armhole and I would divide that up into the bound off stitches underneath the arm and then the rest of the stitches that will be distributed around the remainder of the armhole. So now let's look at some numbers. I'll use Nikki sweater as an example. I will take from the measurements chart the upper arm measurement and add some ease for the sleeve. So the upper arm measurement plus ease is the measurement we want our upper sleeve to be. Now I'm going to take that number and multiply it by our stitch gauge to get the number of stitches I want in the upper sleeve. Nikki's upper arm is ten and a half inches. Now the ease for the sleeve is different than the ease for the rest of the sweater. I want to use about half of the ease I used in the sweater body. The sweater body had two and a half inches of ease divided by two to get half is an inch and a quarter. So I'm going to add an inch and a quarter to this upper arm measurement and I'm going to multiply it by our stitch gauge of 4.8 stitches per inch. Now you may notice we have fractions and decimals, so I'm going to convert here. This would be 11 and 3 quarters, but I'm going to call that 11.75 just to make things consistent. And when I finish my multiplication, I've got 56.4 stitches. And I'm going to round that to 56 stitches. So I want to pick up 56 stitches around the armhole. We want to fill in these two blanks. I bound off five stitches on each side of the armhole. So I have a total of ten bound off stitches. And I am going to pick those bound off stitches up stitch for stitch, which means I pick up a stitch in every bound off stitch. Alright, I've used up ten of my fifty-six stitches. Now I need to distribute the remaining 46 stitches around the rest of the armhole and the way I do that 
is I use stitch markers or flags to divide up each side of the armhole from the shoulder seam down to the beginning of the bound off stitches roughly into thirds and I do that just by counting the number of stitches around the armhole excluding the bound off stitches now I'm going to take that 46 stitches and divide it around those six sections and the way I'll do that is to take my 46 stitches I've got six sections do a little division here so I've got seven stitches per section with the remainder which is a good thing I want to have a few extra stitches to add in at the sleeve cap that will give you a little extra fullness and a little better fit so I'll work in this remaining four stitches by adding two to each of these top sections and I'll put those two stitches in right at the top and I would probably make a sketch of this for myself or make a note up here say seven seven nine nine just to remind myself how these stitches are going to be divided up because I like the top down sleeve method I use a longer circular needle longer than 24 inches maybe 28 29 32 inches because it allows me to magic loop the sleeve cap and the rest of the sleeve on the same needle that I used to knit the body of the sweater when you're picking up your stitches you will not be picking up a stitch in every stitch of the armhole or most likely you won't be that's okay but what I want you to do is not pick up less than every other stitch after I pick up these bound off stitches and I start picking up stitches around the rest of the armhole pick up a stitch skip a stitch pick up a stitch skip a stitch what I don't want to do is pick up a stitch and then skip over two stitches even if it means you have to pick up more stitches than this number that's okay we'll adjust for that when we knit the rest of the sleeve skipping over two stitches leaves too big a gap and we'll, you'll have a little hole in your uh, sleeve seam and we don't want to do that better to just pick up a few more stitches than you need and adjust later on when we're done with the sleeve cap we'll go on to the rest of the circular sleeve I hope you've enjoyed my videos don't worry about taking notes I've put the entire system into an ebook available at knitsweaterpattern.com